Okay, welcome to Simple Snake Game in Python 3 for Beginners, part four. In this part, we're gonna learn how to make the snake body grow and grow. Um, so let's take a look at what we have. We have a snake head that is black. We have snake food that is red. When we collide with the food, it jumps to a random spot on the screen. Okay, so we need to go ahead and make our snake body. Now this is actually pretty complicated in some ways. Um, because we're not adding just one object, we're adding uh, multiple objects that can grow and grow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called a list. I'm going to call that list segments because the body has segments. And when we start the game, there are no segments. Okay, the snake just has a head. So what we want to do is when the player touches the food, we need to add a segment to the snake. Okay. So I'm gonna go down to the main loop, because that's where we're checking. Okay. Um, actually, I probably should put a uh, comment here. So this is where we check for a collision with the food. Okay. And so what we're gonna do, so if there is a collision, we've already made the food go somewhere else. What we need to do now is we need to add a segment. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new segment. It is also a turtle.turtle object, or instance, I should say. The new segment speed, again, is zero. This is not the speed it moves. This is the animation speed. And our new segment shape is going to be square. You can change it to whatever you like. There are four or five built in. It's like circle, square, triangle. Um, arrow something like that but square works really well for this one and I'm gonna make my snake body gray and you can choose a different color uh, like that we need to make sure that the new segment doesn't draw on the screen so we put the pen up and then finally this is the key part is we need to append this new segment to our list of segments so we need to add it to that list so I'm going to say segments append new segment. All right. So let's run that and see what happens. So yeah, you want to you want to run it, you know, type some code, test it step by step. So what's going to happen is hopefully when they touch, I should get a new body, part of my body. Okay, so you can see it appeared here, which is what we expected. As I mentioned in a previous video, all of them start out as zero, zero. Now, I'm assuming that there are more here, but we can't see them because they're on top of each other. Okay. So the next step is we need to make sure that the segments are actually touching, you know, or actually moving with the head. Okay. So now watch what I'm doing here. All right, so. This is, now there's different ways to do this. Um, this is just the way that I've chosen to do it. And so what I wanna do is, and this is probably counterintuitive because what, what you would probably think is that, okay, move the head, then you move the next one to where the head was, move the next one to where that was, move the next one to where that was, and we could do it that way. Um, we'd have to create a temporary variable to store that information. Um, so what I've done is I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, is I'm actually gonna do it backwards. I'm gonna move the last segment to where the next to last segment is, the next to last segment to where the next to last segment of that one is, and so on and so forth. So instead of moving the tail from the front to the back, I'm gonna move the back to the front. I'm gonna shift everything up, okay? Now the segment that is right behind the head uh, is a special case, and I'll talk about that in a second, okay? So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the end segments first in reverse order. Okay, so we have for index in range length, and I'll explain this in a second, segments minus one, zero, comma, minus one. Okay. So what this does, so let's say that I have 10 segments in my snake body. Okay. 
So the length of the segments is 10. Okay. However, if you know anything about lists, lists the they are start they start at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I try to go to 10, I get an error because there is no 10. So it's zero through nine. So 10 minus one is naturally nine. I'm going to go down to zero, but actually the way this this method works, the range, um, it actually stops at one plus. So it's not inclusive. So it's going to go from nine down to one. Notice there's also still a zero, but we haven't addressed that yet. And I'm going to go down by one each time. So what I want to do is I want to say x equals segments index minus one dot oops, dot x core and y equals segments index minus one dot y core. So you have to remember segments is a list obviously of segments and each segment is a turtle. So the turtle has dot x core, it has dot y core. So again, if I'm on segment nine at the back end here, I want segment nine to move where segment eight is. So that's nine minus one is eight. Okay? And this loop goes through all of them. So what I do is I say segments index dot go to x comma y. Now, if you're not sure how loops work, uh, I do have a loop tutorial that you can you can watch. Walks you through the basics of that. Uh, it's in my basic Python free for beginners uh, playlist. Um, check that out. If I remember, I will post that in the comments below. If I don't, please comment. Um, so, and remind me. Okay, so that will move. So let's say nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Um, but what about zero? Okay. Um, so what we got to do is we have to move segment zero, which is the first one after the head, to where the head is. So what we have to do is we first have to figure out, is there a segment zero? So if the length of segments is greater than zero. So if there's one segment, we know there's one. See, so x equals head dot x core, y equals head dot y core and then segments zero dot go to x comma y. Now, this will only do something if there are more than one segment, okay? Because if we, if I say length of segment, so if the length is one, which means we only have one segment, this becomes zero. So zero to zero, there's no distance. So it won't even execute, okay? So here we have to check, is there a length over zero? If so, we want the first segment, which is index zero, to move to where the head is. Okay, so let's test that and see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna drag that down. Okay, look at that. So that's segment zero. Just added segment one, two, three, missed it, four, and so on and so forth. And it just gets longer and longer. Okay. So that is how you get the snake body working. So now the game is really basically I can't lose the game because I can just fly right off the end of the thing. So the next thing we want to do is work on collisions with the border, which is pretty straightforward. Okay. So just to review that real quick. Okay. When we touch the food, so when there's a collision with the food, we're measuring distance, so less than 20. Uh, we create a new segment and we append it to the segments list. So then what we're doing is we're starting at the last uh, segment in the, in, the, in the body. Let's say the head's over here, and the body's here. We start here and we move that to this one, we move that to this one, move that to this one, so on and so forth, up to the first one. First one's a special case because it's not going to the next segment, it's going to where the head was, okay? And then if you notice, move is after it. So I move that segment on top of the head, then move the head. But because we haven't updated the screen until the loop goes through, you don't really see it happening. Okay, so that is that. So I hope you'll join me for part four where we learn to do the... See you there.